Whenever you have a student who is having trouble seeing the screen, whether they have low vision or they have some other issue with their sight, you want to know a few of these tips to be able to make a difference. Now this will only work with a certain margin of those students. You won't be able to use this with everyone, but the first thing you need to know is how to make resolution changes to your monitor. So right click your monitor, go to display settings, and you'll see here I have basically three monitors. I'm using a laptop as my computer and so I have a second and third monitor and the, the third monitor mirrors the first monitor. So when I adjust this line over here for brightness it grays out that laptop monitor and when I bring it back up you see you can adjust the brightness here. The next thing you'll notice is that you can change the resolution and if you change the resolution it will change the way the computer screen looks. So let's do that. Let's bring it down to the lower settings like 800 by 600. And then I'm going to keep the changes for now. It has completely adjusted the monitor so that it's a different size. I'm going to right click on the screen here, do display settings, and again I'm going to have to adjust that back to the original settings. Now the next thing you can do is you can adjust the size of the text. And so first of all let's bring up something in Microsoft Word and here's some readings that are displayed and of course in Microsoft Word I do have a slider on the bottom that I can adjust so that it goes up percentages. So I'm going to leave it at 100% and minimize it. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to change this all the way up to 175. Now this is a system scaling and you'll see that when I bring the Word file back up, it is adjusted, even though I haven't handled the slider here in Word. So I can continue to increase the size in the applications rather than in the display settings. But the display settings are pretty large, and this will help some people. Another thing we can do is we can go to the Start menu control panels and then find ease of access center. Now I've done other videos on this but I just want to show you how easy it is to set up the high contrast. I usually use a keystroke for this. You'll see you can explore all the settings here and it says optimize visual display. So I click this and then I want to make sure there's a check in this line here that says high contrast, choose a high contrast theme. And so the keystroke is Alt, left shift, plus print screen. So let's do that. And I click yes here. And that turns on the high contrast. The first thing you notice when I bring back the Word document is how there are different colors and there's a distinction in those colors so that someone who has some form of visual disparity will be able to see more distinctly the content on the screen. To turn that off I just press Alt Shift and print screen again. Another thing you can do to help your individuals who have visual issues is to teach them some of the commands in web browsers. So I'm here in Chrome and I'm going to use the control key plus the plus and you see it moves the size up and then I can use the minus key to go down. You can also get an extension called high contrast and when you click on it once it's installed you're going to find it at the Play Store by the way you're going to see enable if it's been turned off and then you have these different settings so right now it's set at yellow on black you can have inverted grayscale 
inverted color, and increased contrast. So that helps some people with customizing web pages so that they're more able to see them.